chill, bro. Harmless. <laughs> Oof. That kingfisher almost got beamed. <laughs> oh. Oh, this is a big trout. This is a big trout. We are not prepared for this. We don't have a net. We are shooting for swallies. And we got ourselves a five pound trout on the line. Trout. Now, what's it gonna do? <laughs> oh, we're gonna have to loosen up. We're gonna lose this crankbait. Why are we getting trout? <laughs> we want smallmouth. That's good. That's giving us some slack. Maybe we'll drop it. Come on. You guys can't make fun of me for what I'm going to do with the trout, okay? You promise? You have two very big treble hooks on the back of that crank. We're in current. We have no way to land this. With, there's no bank. So we're going to use this on a trout. This is what we're up against here. Can you get him a frame? Gentlemen, ladies, and anyone in between, I welcome you all, and today we're going to find out if rainbow trout will bacon, egg, and cheese. So to start things off, we're going to take some applewood smoked bacon, put it in a eh, medium-high heat in our cast iron. What we're going to be using this for, we mainly is to get its grease, because there's nothing better than cooking with bacon grease. What we're going to do now is add our rainbow trout, and we're going to cook the trout, hopefully to the right amount, so that way we're not overcooking it, because then we have to scrape it off the bone, put it in a little retaining wall like this, and then add the egg to it. We're trying to make this as simply as possible. We've never tried this before. And stock trout aren't necessarily the easiest thing to fillet, so we're just going to scrape it off the bone. So that way we can have our sandwich and not even have to worry about bone. Try to slide some of the fish off the bone. Get this out of the way. Normally we cook that all the way through, but we're doing a little experiment here. We're going to put the trout in a little vessel. We'll go ahead and take our egg. We don't know if this is going to work or not. We probably put too much egg. And then we're going to let it cook. Um, 
That looks pretty good, though. That looks pretty good. <laughs> you just did that. <laughs> uh, when we squeezed it with the tongue, we hit the egg yolk. Damn it. That's alright. This pan's hard enough to kind of trap it all in there. Minor party foul. I don't know what I'm doing this either. I'm going to kind of smack it on this because we figured that might help <laughs> separate it from the wall of it. Vessel that it's in. I don't know why I'm calling it a vessel. We don't know the proper name. We got some trout baking grease. All right, we're going to turn the heat off here and we're going to figure out how to get this onto this. <laughs> Attempt number one involves a paper towel for grip and a fork because it's a universal tool of the kitchen. Oh, I think we got it. Boom! It's upside down. And we forgot the bacon. We gotta go double bacon. We gotta go. Oh, it is upside down. That's a sin. Wow. How is that for a sandwich? Wake up to this every morning. All right, we're going to give this a minute to cool down. We're actually going to take it off the bun for a second. We don't want the bun to get all soggy. I'm going to have a bite of this. All right, so here goes nothing. We're going to go ahead and see if we can't cleanly cut it. And now for the big reveal. <laughs> not laugh at it. I, I just can't. And now, the most important part, let's try the piece of trap. The trout itself is delicious, even without any salt and pepper. That bacon grease. Oh man, that's good. Okay. Oh, that was a mouthful. That is good. Holy. Mm-hmm. Rainbow trout, definitely egg and cheeses. This is well worth whatever prep time or crap went into this. There's probably an easier way to do it. You could probably go buy salmon in a store and do the same thing. I mean, hell, how many people eat Nova Lox, which is just smoked salmon and cream cheese? And we just dropped a piece of our sandwich. It's good enough, we're eating that too. Our goal for this whole thing was not to have to worry about a single bone. And I'm a more or less a catch and release fisherman, but I'll select harvest a few fish a year. And uh, I'll, I'll admit that I'm not the best with the filet knife. I have friends that are surgeons with it, but unfortunately, I'm not one of them. And uh, this was the most efficient way to make sure I'm not going to be chewing on any bones because I had a feeling it's going to be a mouthful. And boy, is it good. I could probably have gone with one less egg, but even still, the double egg, it is perfect. It really is. And we hit the timing perfectly. Everything about this is perfect. The yolk is perfect. It's like, I like my my sandwiches on a plate if I'm using a fork and knife to have a little bit of runny yolk so I can kind of mop it up. But this is perfect. And the bacon turned out great. I'm not a bacon eater. It has that perfect crisp and a little bit of chew. It's not like crumbly. We recognize this from the pan. This was a piece of think of trout that was fried for like an hour. Let's see how this tastes. 
That was that was frying the bacon grease the entire time. Oh, that's like candy. I feel like a rainbow trout potato chips. Oh my god, that's good. Hold. <laughs> Look at this. I think the only gamble that we played was trying to sop up some of that grease with the uh, English muffins because you never know what you're going to wipe up off of a cast iron pan. I mean, sometimes it gets into that gristle and you kind of regret it. This time we didn't. We got away with it. And if you look, look at the egg. The yolk is, is pretty much perfect. Just about, like you can see it's a little bit darker in the center. It means it was just turning to solid instead of the liquid. I had a big bite. In all honesty, I thought I was going to have to toss this and go over again. No way. How's this for stuff in your face? AMSR. ASMA. ASMR. ASMR. Jeez. I'm eating much faster than I normally would. I don't know why I feel like I'm in a rush when I'm on camera. But. No bullshit. No bullshit. I'm doing this. I'm straight up doing it. Is that good? Holy sh... I feel like I need a beer after that. <laughs> That's a hell of a breakfast sandwich right there, guys. I fully suggest all y'all out there, you catch a rainbow trout, do exactly what I just did. Maybe even just use this one egg. Uh, if you're a better filleter than I am, you'll probably be able to just, just fillet it, stamp it with a cookie cutter, and then just pop an egg in that little form that I used. I'll put the links down below for everything. That way you can buy that silly little thing. It was, it was tough, tough to find one, the diameter that you wanted with the height, because I was worried that there was just going to be too much overflow with the trout and trying to cram an egg or two in there. And you guys saw it. I mean, that was absolutely perfect. Yep, it's that good. So until next time, guys, that was, <laughs> I didn't think I was going to be able to pull that off on the first attempt. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm loving life after this. I need a nap. <laughs> All right, now since this thing looks so good, we're gonna go ahead and make another sandwich because the wifey wanted one. And we're also gonna to test to see how repeatable this recipe is. And we're gonna make it with one egg, not like the last time where we used two and it took forever to cook. So uh, let's see how this works out with one egg. All right, so let's see how we, uh, we did on this one. Looks good. We flipped it, we put the cheese on. Kind of baked the cheese on. That's going to be pretty hot. This is a little bit hotter than the last go around. And. <laughs> Success. You can see there's not much left in the ring. It comes out of the ring pretty cleanly. And. More trout, one egg, a nice crisp, oh, that's a nice crust on that cheese. You hear that? All right, got to let it cool down. I'm going to leave the top off so it doesn't steam the bun. And uh, <laughs> that took mere minutes. It actually does work. The repeatability factor is there. And that looks better than one I had. <laughs> Any money can I have that one? Wow. No. Oh, okay. I'll share Oh, this might be a big smallie. He just inhaled it. Gentle take on this one, so this might be a real big fish. Is it not? I don't know what's going on here. It's a rainbow. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Look at this thing. Oh man, this rainbow has had some uh, experience. Look at that. He's got osprey mark or eagle marks on him. Big old hook jaw. 
Jeez. Oh yeah, look at that. Wow. I'm gonna let you go. Thank you very much.